All right. We are going to start out by taking that white sticker off the back of our paddle, and then we're going to take that rope off the end here. And we're going to put it back on, so don't throw it away. So you want to take this little rope off and just say, set it aside. We're going to still use it, but we're just going to take it off to paint it. Oh, good idea. Then we're going to take our white paint. Mine isn't poured yet because it's right here in front of me. It has a paint booger in it. <laughs> Course. I just used it today, so I'm surprised. And we're going to paint our um, paddle with the white paint. So using your foam brush, one of the, this one that I gave you, and you're just going to paint it on. Mine's a little big. I don't know what size I gave you guys, but it's a really big one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wanted to get it done. Yeah, you're gonna have a quick class. <laughs> this isn't a this isn't a long class or a hard class. It's a fun class. I know you did this like a year ago or something, didn't you? And I wanted two to years get... ago at Castaways. Two years yeah. ago, right before they closed, we did this. We did it at Kokomo's too. Or wait, maybe just Marcia did it at Kokomo's because she missed Castaways. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, come back. So go ahead and paint the whole thing white with this color and you can get the edges and the sides. We don't, do you want me to paint the back too or just the front? Yeah, we're gonna paint the back too. But you don't have to, you're not gonna do the highlighting on the back. You're just gonna do, oh, hold on. Let me see what happens. I know, I see I just went out. I don't know, that's kind of cool. It's your little, it's your name now. It's not like a black screen. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm using my, my husband's old iPhone, and every now and then it asks me for the password, and it, it wasn't going out the other day when I was doing it, but maybe it's getting sick of me saying not now. The Apple ID password, and I changed it, and then I think he changed it again. So now he can't figure out what it is. So I might have to change it again. Yeah. And the, his old phone and his new phone are connected to the same Apple ID. So I just have to break down and get myself an iPad or something to do the classes with. Right. Because I use my laptop to do the Canvas classes because I put it up on that platform. But for the overhead classes, I need something overhead. Oh, well, it's money that I don't want to spend yet. Well, I'm grateful you're doing it virtual through this pandemic, that's for sure. <laughs> uh huh. Makes life so much easier. Uh -huh. We get to get crafty and create and make fun stuff and drink a little wine or whatever you want to do. Where's my wine? Hold on. My wine. <laughs> I have my water. <laughs> I have a bunch of Yodas to finish painting. I still have to paint all those Yodas, Dawn. You should have sent, I should have took some home and painted them for you. I, <laughs> I know. <sighs> oh, I don't know why I say I do the things I'm going to do. I always do. Mm -hmm. You're always busy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my helper, I thought she got more done than she did, but she did a lot for me, but I thought she got all the dresses painted on them, but she didn't. Those don't take very long, though. She did all the rims and all the letters and all that. So she did pretty much all the hard part. I know like, Cameron's. I should. Part right here. I'm trying to. Oh, he loves it. Like, uh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let her do this one part right here. She's helping you, huh? She is. She's a great helper. But sometimes it's like, you know. I it's your. You should have got her one of her own to make. You both could have made them. And you I didn't even think about it because I just. I don't know. I didn't hear otherwise, I would have suggested it. <laughs> yeah. 
I thought it was like, you know, just all adult kind of like paint sip type of thing. No, I've seen other moms do it with their kids and stuff. Oh yeah, I would do it. I didn't, I didn't know about this course right here, but. Oh, yeah. You know. uh, we're all open adults. We still drink with the kids on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to make that, my own now. That is life. <laughs> yeah, this is life for me. That's what adults do. <laughs> are we doing both sides? Or we we are. We're going to do the top, let it dry, and then we'll do the top. bottom. Do the sides, too. <laughs> yep, do the edges, around the edges. So when you hang it up, however you decide to hang it up, whether you hang it up by the hook or whatever, you know. You could put a picture hook on the back, and I'm sorry I didn't include those with the project this time. But if you need one, I can drop one off. I think I have some. Yeah. yeah, you can put like a, a frame, you know, like the picture hook that you use to hang up something, you can put that in the back. Or a little, uh, you can put, um, screw in the top part, whatever works best. Jared likes the one from the wire. He puts everything into wires. He says it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. He puts a wire on the back? Pretty much on everything, so that way it goes straight. You can adjust it no matter what. You don't have to, like, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You can make it centered. Yeah. Yeah, and you can, you can tie it um, in, a, like, a loop on the back if you need to make it shorter. Right. Dana was sitting here last and there's something on my paper, so it got on my paddle. I was saying cheers, ladies, to a great evening. Oh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Sasha, just us, not you. I know, Sasha. I'm <laughs> here. <laughs> People are over. Sasha hears people barking. Her son are outside. You guys are all on mute, so I can't hear you. There you go. Yeah, mine are still barking here and there, so I'm gonna keep it on mute for a minute. <laughs> oh, that's fine. So when you get done with the front side, just give it a minute to dry, and then we'll flip it over and do the other side. It just needs a minute. Yeah, she's doing the edges. She's almost done. Hurry up. <laughs> Perfectionist. All my kids are very like detail oriented. Wow. And my mom, this, the, the rule of art is less is more. So you want to do less because it'll dry faster. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the key. That was one of the first tricks that Carrie taught me. <laughs> yeah. More. And we're going to put a glaze over this. So if you're seeing some of the wood on it now, don't worry about it too much because the glaze is going to cover up some of the wood look. But you kind of want some of the wood look to show because it is a wood paddle. Right. You don't yeah. want to wash it out completely. Yeah. Cameron's telling me I'm making a frat paddle. Yeah, well, they do make these as frat paddles. And originally, I bought these for a fraternity house to uh -huh. 
two um, paddles for a fundraiser and they canceled on me. Oh. So I had 30 paddles for from a fraternity house that canceled. So that's why I'm reinventing them. Well, once you post these online, people will see them and they're going to want them because it's really cute. Yeah. yeah, I've run this class a couple of times and this one got more than the last one, but this this class, I got six people to do it. Um, the last time I ran it, which was like four months ago, I only got probably one, I think, if oh. that. Yeah, oh. but I gotta think of something else to put on them, you know? I like my... So, Chance, I'm doing Delgado life on mine instead of beach life. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Uh, well, beach life is here because I'm about that life. I'm about that life. I love yeah, beach life. You have a pool, too, so it kind of helps. I have with a pool, too, life. but we're beach bums. That most definitely around here. I am, but not the rest of my family. My beach husband, uh, Cameron only goes if Kayla goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You definitely have to do a beach day. I love it. I, I love the beach. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're waiting for it to dry. Thank I you, think, my girl. I think Kayla can get Cameron to do anything. Yes, she can. Oh, they're so sweet, like, together. It's, so, it's a beautiful thing to see. They really are. Yeah. And <laughs> in, the apple didn't fall too far from the tree because his parents are amazing. Mom, <laughs> <they're> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Very grateful. Yes, we are too. She's a good girl. She is a good girl. Mike Hell's very sweet too. What's that? I said Mike Hell's very sweet too. What? Okay. Good to hear. <laughs> it's good to hear. Yeah, my dog slept for two days after she left here though. <laughs> I was like, Asha? that's all we have here on the top of my head, and I'll be all the way around because of this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you very sore the next day? Michael, were you really? I bet, because she's heavy. She's on the chair. She's like, <laughs> she's a beautiful pup. Beautiful pup. Very beautiful, but beautiful. she's very strong. Sasha? Yeah, she, you know what she does, Carrie? She flattens herself flat on the ground and uh -huh. wants you to come out of the house. So, <laughs> yeah, she out and she'll lay on the ground and she's like, drag me. And we'll just drag her across the carpet. Beautiful pup. <laughs> she's funny. I can just see her doing that. <laughs> the little beggar. Yeah. <laughs> the newcomer. <laughs> He loves to work it, that's for sure. <laughs> and sits on that chair like she's a princess. Oh, uh, the lounger? Yeah. Yeah, yeah beautiful pup. Oh, I'm doing, I'm actually doing this for my mom. She loves turtles. She's retired. Oh, no. She says everything in her house is turtle themed. Slow and steady wins the race, she always yeah. says. Yeah. And so, um, um, I'm gonna give this for her birthday on December twenty second. So this nice. is a gift from her. Awesome. Yeah, I make a lot of gifts. I told you at dinner the other day. I make a lot of gifts from here. I'm like, it's from the heart. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Don, because it was like meant to be. Like this was the first paint kind of like sit course, you know. And I'm doing it for mom. You're welcome. I'm glad you joined. I appreciate this. This won't be the last. This is fun. I love this. I'll have to send you the new calendar as soon as I get it done. Okay. Okay. Have you liked my Facebook page? I did. I did. I was just okay. looking at everything now. Dawn sent me the information about a week ago, but I just kind of got around to it like last night and when I yeah. you know, registered for the course. The kids going back to school and even it's though you're doing virtual yeah. learning, they still need a lot of stuff done, you know? <laughs> This is a slower week for me with everybody going back to school. Like all my teachers, they stopped coming to class for a while. Yeah. They, they stop for like the first couple of weeks of August and then they come back. Because once they get the swing of everything and get everything yeah, situated, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's how it'll be. Mm -hmm. A week or two, then you kind of 
no. Yeah. Well, when I start pumping out the fall stuff is when they all start coming back because they're big into the fall stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the back doesn't have to be perfect, but just putting a coat on it makes it look a little finished. As you can see here in the finished one that I did. So here's the front and then here's the back and it's not as thick as the front, but it just makes it look a little finished, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't look like raw wood on the back, but you don't have to do the back if you don't want to. That's completely optional. Might as well. Right. But then once the front's dry, we're going to um, do the glazing on it. So it's going to take just a minute to dry. And if you have a blow dryer sitting around your house, that helps with the speed of the drying. I don't know where my blow dryer is. Oh, I hear my kitty cat. I just got a new one and threw the old one out. I wish I would have kept it now and put it in my art. I never thought about that. <laughs> you threw it away? Yeah, I was like, yeah, I don't need to. <laughs> you should have given it to me when I have classes. I always need it. Yeah. I would have kept it for myself and my art. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, now you know. I, you know, I try to give you lots of stuff. My mother <laughs> loves that line you made, the paint it for her. Um, not the line, the tiger. Is it tiger? Oh, the tiger. Yes, yeah. the white tiger with the black stripe. She has it like right where she looks every single day. Every day, like when like you walk in her area. gets up and then she looks at the photo. And then she, she just loves it. There and then she just does whatever she So does. that was cool. Awesome. Carrie, you know how I love the tigers? Yeah. I think I told you I had made one and Kayla had told me that her grandma loves those white tigers. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I told you I wanted to make one for her. So that's why that, that's the mother um, that it wears, I'd say the mother in law that it went to. It went to her mother in law. Yeah. Oh, nice. So it hung straight in her little area where, like, as soon as you, she sees it every day. That's awesome. It's beautiful. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a very stunning picture. It's like it's very nice. You did a good job. Okay. She does do a good job, doesn't she? Nothing. <laughs> I have my own white tiger here at the house. <laughs> Kelly, are we using white for anything else or just this? No, when we're done with that, you can throw that thing away if you want. I'm gonna turn on my blow dryer just for a second. Oh, that's a good idea. Just use all the lights. Well, the reason I do that is because I have like an indention here and it wasn't drying and I wanted to get it to dry so I could show you the next step. And hi, Mr. Marsha, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. She'll get to paint hers tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to just blow dry the back because I'm going to lay it on this paper and it won't come back up if I don't. Once, you know, if you don't have a blow dryer handy, that's okay, but just to teach you guys, or I just don't want it to stick to the paper on the table and then have to scrape it off and do it again. So in that little container that's wrapped in cellophane, I gave you guys what we call pickling glaze. Mm -hmm. And it is different than paint. So you're going to need that next with your funky brush that I gave you. This is called a chip brush. Okay. So when you're done with your white, those are the things you're gonna need next. No rush, you just let me know when you're ready. Okay, that's right. I got a uh, fan blowing over here. Yeah, the, um, the white on here, um, I should probably make this one the opposite way so that when I, okay. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, 
the white on here is going to get mostly covered up by that pickling glaze so it doesn't have to be perfect if you see something that you missed that you can hit it with the pickling glaze I like the name of it. That sounds so cool. <laughs> pickling glaze. I know it says it right on the um, container. Pickling. <laughs> this one's crystal blue. I have another color too. I think it's like a. I don't know what color it is. I think it's a gray, like a smoky gray. But teal and grays are my favorite colors. So yeah, whenever you see a project done in teals and grays, that's because I'm basing it off of my house. <laughs> and when I'm done using it as a class sample, I'm going to use it at my house. <laughs> that sounds very beefy. <laughs> yeah. My pool area is decorated very beachy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Especially for now, like that's your vacation area, right? Yeah, well, my husband goes in the pool every day. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he's, he's like a water bug. He's, if you didn't know what nationality he was, you would think he was like, Italian or something like that because he's so dark. Oh, that nice going tea. Pool every day. Hmm. a nice tan that you just be like. Yep. Oh. Ooh, that's some more paper towels. He's not Italian. Oh, no. He's, uh, and he says oy vey because he lived in Long Island his whole life. So he thinks he's, uh, I call him the Italian Jewish person. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> even though he's not either one, it's just funny. Oh, okay. He has a nice Italian tan, kind of like. Yeah, he has a very dark complexion compared to the pasty white Irish girl here. Yeah. I'm very funny. white and pasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, my arms, I'm very white. You know, this is actually tan for me because I was in the Keys for um, a couple of days and I got burnt. So now it turned to a tan. But generally, my skin tone is this color, which is very white. <laughs> oh, well, I'm Irish and French, so. All right, so how are you doing over there? You got your white on all right? Yeah, my back is a little wet. Okay. Do you need another minute? Like, yeah, one more minute. Okay. I'll watch you pickle. <laughs> <laughs> well that's all right i can wait a minute we're in no rush yeah it's still yeah it's still damp i should i should say next time in the meeting invite that we need uh blow dryers yeah i'll tell you yeah. and go on here we'll get the blow dryer <laughs> okay. i said after i'm talking about it by now i should have just went and got mine too right yeah. Well, next time you go out to a yard sale or whatever, Dawn, just look for one. I'm hoping we get to go back in studio and Kokomo's and everything where I can just do everything there. <laughs> well, you know, I always forget something. So my luck, it'll be a blow dryer that I forget. <laughs> I'll mute while we blow dry it for one minute, okay? Okay, no problem. What'd you say, Dawn? I said, you always have every supply. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no, I just don't announce that I forgot half the glitter I had set out or the glue that I was supposed to bring. So now I've learned to keep stashes of stuff in my car. You know, I forgot one of my deliveries that I just went to today. I forgot one of their items. Uh, I'm like, are you kidding me? I, and this is not the first time I've done this to this poor girl. This is like the second time. Aww. Every time she orders something, she gets two of one thing, and I, and then she gets other stuff. So she had three things total, and I delivered two. But remember when I was telling you about the stars? Look. Oh, I love it. That looks really cool. Yeah. So I messed up a little bit right there, but I'm gonna put glitter on them. So I think that I can clean that up and put glitter on it. I did it in. And then this is the other one. I just did it in the smaller one. See? That's, oh, that's super cute. Too. But the eyes and stuff aren't done on this one yet. See? Right. I got to finish the eyes. I can't remember. It looks so cool hanging out. Oh, yeah. Has Yoda? Yeah. <laughs> so when I get done with this call, I'll just jump on. I'll 
jump over and do all the Yodas. I just have to do the eyes, the ears, the noses, and the, some of the dresses. She did all the letters and all the outsides. Yeah, but there's so, like 10. 13, I have 13 Yodas for tomorrow. I hope I sell them all and I don't have to bring any home. I do Look at her in her little panda pajamas. I think they're pandas. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is it going to again? Uh, the comic book convention at the fairgrounds. Oh, I didn't even realize we were having get together things going on. Well, I think they're limited. They're limited capacity. They might have pre-sold tickets or something, you know? Okay. I don't know. I'm just... After class, I'm just going to help Madeline um, set her booth up because she's selling these for me. So I'm helping her unload her car and set up her booth. Oh, that's good. Well, she's doing me a favor, you know, so I'm going to help her. Yeah. You're always helping somebody, too. I love all how you do so many charities. I try. <laughs> so now you're going to need your chip brush, which looks like this. I think I put one in your bag, right? Yeah. Okay. And you're going to need your pickling glaze. It's the runny blue stuff that's in the cellophane wrapper. My hair has a wing. All right, you ready? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna put it in your pickling glaze, knock some of it off or dab it off on a tissue or a napkin. You don't want it to be completely filled with it. And you're just gonna drag it across your board. So when you go to take it off, just kind of bang it on the edge of your container and you're just gonna streak it on. And it's kind of runny, so you don't wanna do too much. See how it looks when you put it on? Can you see it? The lighting is probably too bright. I don't know if you can see it. You guys are on mute, so I can't hear you. There you go. There we go, sorry. Yeah, I can see. So are we brushing like really softly? Yep, you can brush really softly. If you don't want a lot on, you don't have to put a lot on. If you want a lot on and you like the look of it, go for it. But you're going to do that all over the paddle. Um, you want to get the edges too. So do the top first and then you can use the handle and turn it so you can get the edges and then you can finish up the handle. And not two of them will look alike because they'll look a little different. But the chip brush is supposed to give you texture and it's supposed to look rough and ragged. That's the whole distressing part of it. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. A little different, huh? Oh, I'm muting. Don't <laughs> see yours. He's, uh, Sasha's barking again. <laughs> so go ahead and glaze the whole middle part first, and then use the handle to hang on to while you can. Make sure you get the end at the very end because when you hang it up, you want to make sure you have that part. Isn't that cool looking? That very beachy coastal love distress it. look. Love it. So cool. All the times I've seen this at the store, this is what they're doing. Oh, no! <laughs> Awesome. We're doing it. We're doing it ourselves. We don't need yep. that. We're, we're peer one right now. We're peer one, one in it right now. Yeah. So when I say I take classes to learn more stuff, this is what I do. I learn how to do these things so I can show you. Yeah, I love it. Good. Keep taking your classes, Carrie, so I can <laughs> This is my therapy. <laughs> this is why I drive to all different places to do all these fun things. All my, all my virtual stuff too, you know? Like the past two nights I've been painting for virtual classes. 
Yeah, I cannot wait to do that owl picture. That is super cute. Yeah, it is cute. Hi, all right, so once you do all that, you just want to let it dry. You can use your blow dryer if you want to, or you can let it dry naturally, but this has to be dry to put the stencil on. So using your blow dryer would be cool. The stencil's going to take a few minutes. If you get too much of the glaze in one spot and you want to take some off, you can use a paper towel or a napkin and just go back over it and wipe it off like this. I had a big glop right there, so I just wiped some off. Thank you so much. Two of my corners have a big glob, and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, you can go back off. over. Yay! Thank you. The guy goofed. Never mistake an art. I turned the painter sideways and I shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah. Gotta keep it upright. Yes. I got. I learn. Listen, do you hear that, Marsha? Keep it sideways. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep it upright. Don't turn it sideways. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the art teacher. <laughs> she has a paddle like this done with um alligator reef on it. But I she she hand painted it. Oh, okay. I, mean, I think I remember seeing one on her back porch, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, that's the one she did that we were going to do at Castaways, but she couldn't go to Castaways, so she did it at Kokomo's. Yeah, it probably was on a work night. Yeah, she did it on a Monday night at Kokomo's. Um, I think she was ha she had Mondays off back then or something. I don't remember. I think she has Fridays off now. Right. I'm having a hard time where it's the green on the opposite way. How do you get that to stay on right? I keep messing up. What do you mean? Like it's um, it's not going on smooth. It's like rough. So it keeps making blobs on me. Uh, just take your napkin when you put it in the in the glaze. Just go back to your napkin and dip some tap tap some off, like on the napkin. See, just tap it off on the napkin and then go back to your board. Does that make sense? Yeah, but it's, oh, there it goes, never mind. Maybe I didn't have enough paint on it. <laughs> Maybe. So when you get done with that part, you can take your blow dryer and just blow dry it. How's your eyes looking? It looks good. Like, you know, I, I haven't done nothing yet, you know, but she's doing a great job. <laughs> No, it looks great. I'm going to show you. Uh, oh, look, yours looks good. I like yours. I like that better than mine. I think I should have to do more. Maybe put more on. Okay. Let me turn it to gallery view so I can see better. Hold it up again so I can see it. No, I think both of them look really good. Yours look good, too. Everybody's look good. It's very yeah. unique. You know, just, just yes. use your oh, fan yeah. or your blow dryer and uh, this on <laughs> one side, right? Heat the, <laughs> heat the paintbrush. <laughs> one side. Yeah, we're just gonna stain one side. I mean, later after we do everything else, after everything's dry, if you want to stain the other side, you should have enough left over. Oh no, we have a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should have enough supplies to do something else if you want to use them for something else. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, I don't want you to not have enough, so I'd rather give you too much than not enough, you know? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So just go ahead and use the blow dryer on this because we need to blow dry it to um, put the stencil on. Okay. I'm and gonna... that's the next step. Okay. Hurry up. Get the blow dryer. I'm going to put it in two seconds. There you go. You can blow dry it. Good job. <laughs> Have a good little helper over there. <laughs> ah. 
I'm all talking to you and I was on mute the whole entire time. <laughs> yeah, you were. I said, I love it. It looks so like rustic. It looks so pretty. Did you send uh, one of your kids to get your blow dryer for you yet? No. They're in their room. Yeah, let me, let me, on the phone. Let me go get it. Does it take a long time to dry or could I like fan dry it like with a... Um, you just need it to be dry so the stencil will stick. So you definitely would want a blow dryer. Oh yeah, yeah. It dries but, quick with a blow dryer. Or yeah, it dries yeah. like super quick, Don. It's worth the trip. Yeah, okay. yeah it dries <laughs> fast. It's dry. She's funny. She's like, do I need it? Do I have to have it? Yeah, yeah. Now, so do you sweet. have something hard that you can use to rub the stencil with? Like, do you have uh, uh, a... I only have this like a, uh, uh, well, go, can we use a butter knife? Yeah, you can use a butter knife or you can use the back of a paintbrush, whatever works. Okay. You just need something hard. Okay. Because I forgot to put popsicle sticks in your bag. Let me put the sticker off there and move it. And you put the plastic back on top, right? I of did. your sticker? Okay. So just make sure it's all smushed together. Like rub it down and make sure the plastic's stuck yeah. to it. Okay. Am I doing it on hot or cold? It's like the it doesn't matter. You don't have a sticker on it yet. So it doesn't matter. You just want it to be dry. I see a peeker. <laughs> <laughs> He's invading your art bubble. <laughs> Give me more wine, please. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, wine is great. He cut his hair. No, it's just up in a bun. Oh. Have you tried chocolate wine, Bonita? No, I just like red. I'm yeah. like a red, that's all. Like, it's What's your favorite flavor? What's your favorite wine? It's a, like a, a blend. So it's like a Merlot and what's the other one? Cabernet? Yeah, Cabernet. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Do, what um, brand do you get? Do you get Apothic or Laird? That's it. That's the one I like. Apothic. Apothic? And it's yeah. like a smooth red blend. That's all it I is. Like it's really good. So if you like Apothic, you probably would like Layer Cake, which is another one. Mm -hmm. And they sell it at Target, you know, in the tar in the wine aisle at Target. Oh, okay. It's only Target brand? No, it's 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 uh, um, known everywhere. I just don't know if Publix sells it. Oh, okay. Because I, I know they, in that brand, they have like two kinds. Yeah. And wine something that I see, and I see the smooth red blend, and I was getting yeah. I used to own a, a bar and a restaurant in New Hampshire. Oh. Yeah, and um, let's if see. If you can send me a photo of like what the bottle looks like or the name yeah. again. I'll show you, I'll okay. send you some of my favorite wines. I, yeah. I'm a, I, I was a big red wine drinker. Yeah, and, that's all um, I drink. I don't drink anything else, the same wine. Like, I well, love I just don't drink that much anymore because I take um, medication, which I'm hoping to get off of if I lose 10 more pounds. So uh -huh. that's what I'm hoping because I've been walking every day. So, okay. That's cool. So, any, any of the Michael David wines like Freak Show and um, uh, are my favorite too. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just see if I can pull them up. They, he has a few and you probably know them. Menage a Trois. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've heard of yeah, that. Yeah, Michael David wines. Let me see. Um, so, his wines are right here. And I think, is Apothic one of them? Apothic is pretty good. I oh, like no. They it. have a number six Shiraz. So I'm a big Shiraz fan, too, because it's a soft blend. A Shiraz is a blend of Cabernet and Merlot. Mm -hmm. So he has um, number six, which is, which is a Shiraz. He has Petit Petit, Freak Show, Earthquake. Uh, Rapture, and he has a white wine that I don't like. I don't like white wine. And then he has the one with the Z on it. It's called Seven Deadly Zins. I don't know if you could see it, but also I don't know what a is in Sam, so yeah, either one of those have all the Michael David wines. Yeah. And um, 
Let's see. Yeah, freak show and petite petite are like circus labels. Okay. They look like the circus. And those uh, petite petite is my favorite because it's a soft blend. Okay. I like the soft yeah. blend. I really do. A soft yeah. Blend. And you know good. what other wine I really like, um, and people think I'm crazy, but I drink it sometimes with ice, is um, Two Buck Chuck from Trader Joe's. Oh. What's yeah. the name of it? It's called Two Buck Chuck. It's really $3, but it's like a $3 wine, but it's the best $3 wine you'll ever have. Is it really sweet? It Sometimes they have three different kinds or four different kinds. I'll send you a screenshot of that, okay. too. Yeah. I like a mouth. Not not too sweet, you know, or not too bitter. Okay. Mm -hmm. But chocolate wine is a Cabernet wine anyways. It just oh, okay. has a cocoa flavor to it. So if your paddle's dry, what you want to do now is you want to take something hard and rub the top of your stencil and make sure you get it stuck together really good. If you have a wooden spoon, a credit card, a butter knife, the back of a paintbrush stick, whatever you have, and what we're going to do is we're going to separate the clear and the blue are going to stay together and the white piece is going to come off. So what you want to do is you want to make sure, and I turn it upside down because it makes it easier to peel the white piece off. When you're peeling it, you want to make sure that you don't peel up the blue pieces. So when you're peeling it apart, go slow. And if you start to see that the blue is coming up, just pause it like right here. So see how the blue is starting to come with the white? Pause it, push it down really hard like that and just keep peeling. And go really slow and push it down like this really hard so you can get the blue, the blue to stay on. Like your little parts of your letter, like the life, the L will try to stick down. The turtle should come up pretty good. So no part of the blue should come up. Right, so on this white paper backing, you don't want any of the blue. And if it does come up, push your paper back down, rub it with your finger, rub it with whatever hard piece you have, and then peel it again. And right. it should come right up. Because some of the letters, like see right here, this part of the letter is trying to come up. See it, how it's on the white piece? Oh yeah, yeah, that's how so I'm gonna lay it down, and I'm gonna take my little hard thing, rub it again, and then peel it again, and it sticks down. So this is gonna give us nice letters on our board. So we don't have to hand draw them or anything. Can I do this with you? It's a little difficult, but once you get the hang of it, you'll get it. And then you wanna move, take your paper backing and just set it aside. Don't, don't do that. Can I, can I do this? Can I, can I help you? <laughs> Is she taking over your project? Oh my God. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, now you can, when you go to put your sticker down, you can put it at an angle if you want, or you can put it straight, whatever you want to do. If you want to angle it to the top, angle it to the bottom, or just try to put it as straight as possible, whatever's the best fit for you. Don, yours should fit, because this fits. Oh, I'm sure it did. I didn't check, but yeah, it did, because I've been, yeah. Yeah, it definitely, most definitely fits. Okay. I didn't think about seeing if I went which direction I wanted to do it. I should have done yeah. that. So whenever you decide which way you want it to go, just lay it flat on your thing, and then I'll show you how to push it down. And I just eyeball it. I mean, you can't pick it up and you can't lay it down and then switch it around. So kind of hold it up and see, and then stick it down. So once you stick it, it's stuck. You got it? Well, I don't know if I want to do it at an angle now. Crap. <laughs> what do you do? Yours is straight, Carrie? Uh, my looks straight. Probably isn't straight, but it looks straight. It might be a little tilted up a little bit, but I don't care. I think I better just go safe and go straight. <laughs> yeah. 
How you doing over there, Benina? Is she getting it for uh, you? Almost, yeah. We almost. I see she's struggling probably with that little tiny piece of the I, of the oh, E. The E, yeah, it was the E. Uh, Those little pieces always get you. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Don't do it with your finger. I'm sticking it down, right? Yeah, so just lay it flat on the board, and then you're going to take whatever hard thing you've got, whether it be your popsicle stick, a spatula, a credit card, whatever you have, and you're just going to rub the vinyl sticker on. And just make sure you got all the bubbles out of it. So I usually start in the middle and push out. Sarah says hi, everybody. <laughs> hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Hi. I'm good. A little tired, but no worse for the wear. Right. I heard you're doing good construction work now. I'm um, with a buddy of mine out. He had a big project and he wanted to bring me out of retirement. So <laughs> he called in the pro. Yeah, I had to come give him hey. my hand. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Why not? Hold on. So once you get it all stuck down, just find a corner of the clear. How you doing, Benita? You guys are okay? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're okay. We're just getting that last letter. Where are we at? The B. The B. The B. Okay, the little sliver of the B. All right, yeah. good. You got it? We got it? Come on. Yes. <laughs> we'll catch We'll catch up. You have patience. Oh, yeah. So now you're gonna you're gonna just find a corner of your clear coat and peel it up. So if you want to use a fingernail, um, I just happen to have my little spatula here, so I'm gonna try to grab it up. So see the clear piece that you had on it from before? You're gonna roll this off, and again, you don't want any of those blue pieces to come off. Let me push it in the middle. Here's the clear coat. Now the blue sticker is gonna stay on the board. And you're just gonna roll it back like this, nice and easy. And the reason you roll it is because you don't wanna pull it straight up off the board that could lift up your sticker off the board. And you don't wanna do, you don't wanna take away all your hard work. So you just roll it off. And once you get it off, you just crumple this up, throw it away. You don't need it anymore. Just flat. Okay, so you got it stuck down? No, wait. Slowly, my cow. <laughs> now roll off the plastic real slow. Really slow. Just make sure you don't pick up any of the blue pieces that you no just blue pieces. tried to get to stay on there. Yeah. I wish I was there with you guys. That's Hello. Okay. She's so cute. <laughs> I know. My boys never want to do crafts. <laughs> I didn't have the girls for that. Hi, Dawn. I'll be back. I know. <laughs> did you have fun, Kayla? Yeah, I did. I had a lot of fun. That's good. You're I relaxing, guess. you know? That's good then. She was missed here. She was ready to come back home today, trust. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for her to come back last week. <laughs> oh, I, I know, know right? <laughs> I know Cameron, he's like texting me. He's like, when, are you gonna come over? I'm like, can you give me a minute? Like, oh, <laughs> he missed you. He was already hounding you, so I wasn't gonna ask. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, he you. You. He's in the shower now, anyway. So <laughs> I want somebody to miss me that much. Outside of you, no care. Outside of you. Can't to say we go for some problems. I know. <laughs> Good job, Don. Oh, we did it! Yeah. 
Nice job, ladies. All right. Good job. Right. So now you're going to need. Wait, we're back. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> She's taking it. We got to paint it. Everybody. So now we're going to take our makeup sponge and we're going to use our blue paint, the turquoise paint that I gave you. And you're going to dip the fat side of the makeup sponge into the paint. See that? And you're going to spin some of it off. You don't want it to be soaked. You want it to just have enough on it to pounce onto your board. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to just pounce on your letters like this. And less is more because if you put too much in it, it's going to leak under your stencil. So you want to do less is more. Oh, yeah. But I'm doing stencil really good tune right now. <laughs> Pounce it on nice and light. Do a nice light coat. And we're going to do a second coat of this. So you, trust me, it, it pays to do a very light coat. Because if you do too much and you get too much on there, it seeps under your stencil and it makes it run. You don't want runny letters, right? You're going to do all of your turtle. You're going to do all of your letters. And then we're going to put some gold on the back of your turtle after. That's what that gold paints for. So you hold on to the skinny side and use the fat side as your, as your tool. Less is more. Less is more. I didn't even get my second dip. It covered the whole thing. Good job. Do a nice light coat, spread it around. Don't rub it, just pounce it on. Dab, 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 dab. dab, dab. If, if you rub, what happens is it goes under the stencil. Trust me, I've learned all these things from doing them the wrong way. Less is more, that's what I like it. Go. Head. <laughs> <laughs> After four years, right, Don? <laughs> you probably say that now to other things and you don't realize you say it. Well, whenever I do, if I redo a desk or furniture or whatever, I, just, I always say that to myself. I'm like, less is more. You can always yeah. more. You can't take it off. <laughs> and wet paint picks up wet paint. So you have to do one coat, let it dry, and then let us do a second coat. Because then you'll have blotches. And you don't want that. Right? Don't go to Jersey. It said don't go to Jersey. <laughs> there. Oh, no. So grandma is gonna love the fact that you guys did this together. Yeah, <laughs> I would have known you was taking over. I would have bought two of them. Like, I didn't know. Right? Whoa, tell me yeah. you're buying something crafty. Next time, we'll make sure we get her something to do, right? For real, because, like, I thought I was going to be doing this tonight, you know, but it's nice to watch. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it together. <laughs> so we're going to let one coat dry, and then we're going to do a second coat. This color is a little different than my sample. My yeah, do you, you guys like Halloween? Because she's doing a Halloween wood one that's really cool too, a Hocus Pocus. Oh yeah, that's like, we love Halloween here. That's like, you know, the kids I still have a lot of fun stuff. I have a lot yeah. of meetings too. <laughs> have you ever been uh, trick-or-treating on Citrus Grove here? Or what do you normally do? <laughs> They have a big, I haven't uh, been. I haven't been trick or treating on citrus, but I know Dawn has. I know last year she. Yeah, took, that's huge here. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna do it this year. And what's crazy is all the holidays in 2020 are on Saturday. Do you know that? Like, I think uh, Halloween was on either Friday or Saturday this year. Really? It's Saturday. Hey. Saturday. Oh, for a chance. That's nice. But we don't I know. Hope they don't like, you know? Hopefully everything I is two, good. I went two years ago to Citrus. One of my friends actually went into labor. Jessica Carey went into labor, and I took all three of her kids to Citrus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. My first, my 
my first time going there with my kids already grown, I came home soaking wet, sweaty, like. <gasps> I know. <laughs> so yes. It's an experience. It's, it's amazing. It's good how the neighborhood gets together here. The community and, the, you know, does that for the kids. One was in a stroller. One was two and the other one was four. <laughs> Oh, wow. You had your hands full. I, it was a lot. And I, and I, matter of fact, I had her mother who um, has dementia too. I had her too. And she got, oh. lost. it was a busy night for me. Oh my goodness. But it was really cool. Cause I didn't realize they had like many ponies there. They have dogs. That you yes. Every, everybody, everything, the golf carts out. Yeah. I thought that was super amazing. I yeah, love so it. Imagine this year, like if without Rona, you know, it would have been. I, I don't know if they're going to have it. And that's the only thing for trick or treating there. They all tell everybody you have to wear a mask this year. <laughs> yeah. No, I I'm think saying, like you are wearing a mask and you know, everybody has a mask, but you know, with the candy with the kids and everything, I don't know. So oh, we'll, yeah. see. we'll see. I think they're going to do something else this year. I don't know what they're going to do. So let's do our second coat. So what uh -huh. you're going to do is you're going to take the same sponge and put uh -huh. it in the paint, and you're going to just do a second coat on top of that. So it okay, makes I'll it just a little it. darker. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I read on the Indian Trails page that they were going to do something else, but I don't remember what it was. Because I don't have trick-or-treaters, so I don't pay attention. I know. We don't have them either. They all go to Citrus Grove. We don't have any trick-or-treaters that come to our house because we live on Temple and it's too busy where I live. Yeah. Now they just Dangerous. Don't do and all my nieces and nephews and stuff, they do it in their own communities and we never even buy candy. I buy candy for myself. I don't buy it for the trick-or-treaters. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they don't come to the house here because we're on Key Lime, but it right. like, goes to Citrus, you know? Right. So. So they don't do trick-or-treating here either. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to do anything for candy this year. I'm not going to buy any because I'm trying to lose that weight so I can get off that medication. So I can start drinking wine again. Oh. I started working out at a community park here uh, with this group called Nomad. So I'm three weeks in and it's been great. They have different sessions that's right at the park in the parking lot. You just bring your weights, free weights and Oh, really? Yoga mat in your towel, and you just, it's right outside, and I love huh. it. Mm -hmm. Do you have to pay for that? It is. There is a membership, but, um, you know, but it's unlimited. You can go to all the classes per month. So, oh, cool. Yeah. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, I yeah. meant to look it up, but you told me about it. I kind of forgot. Okay. I'll send you both the information. I just did it. I'm, I'm three weeks in and it's, it's right here. So it's for, for me, it's really good. A community <laughs> park behind, behind. It's a great sweat workout. You just feel good. You feel yeah. energized. Right after this, which, which, well, which I good. just started exercising two weeks ago um, because um, I'm, I'm like in the, I'm 51, so I'm in menopause, and the doctor said if I don't lose, um, they, I'm like a couple points from weight being diabetic, so they want me to lose the 10 pounds, so I come out of that bracket, and they have me on this medicine called metformant, and it tastes gross, and makes my stomach upset, and yeah, it's a nasty medication. So if I can lose the 10 pounds, I can get off of it. That's definitely okay. scary. That medicine is bad for your long run and your organs. So. I know. So I try not, I don't take it every day because it messes with me big time. I so I don't take it every day, but I do take it like three times a week. But I've been walking every day. So I do Every day it doesn't work. So you, it's one of those drugs that you do have to take every day. And it I takes, know. It takes two to three weeks to even start working. I only know this because Jared, when he, that was one of the first medicines they put him on. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't take it every day like I'm supposed to, but I have been taking it for almost two months now. So it's in my system. It shows up. But it's just, I'm not doing it consistently to make the change. So it's either lose the weight or keep taking the medicine. So I'm trying to lose the weight so I can get off the medicine. There you go. And have some wine. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, well I'm wine's afraid. really not bad for you if you do it in moderation, you know? And then you work out and you burn the calories, but I wasn't working out. I was getting up every day and going right to work and working. And you know me, I work in the morning and then I hit till I hit the wall, then I go take a nap, then I get up and then I work again. So I really needed to do the balance, you know? Well, I'm a stage four breast cancer survivor that was nice. pushed into menopause. Uh, my um, cancer, um, breast cancer, I was found out that it's uh, estrogen driven. So they had to take away my estrogen because they said that was fertilizing my cancer. Yeah. So they pushed me into menopause. So I'm going through that right now. So when I work out, I sweat like Oh, I sweat like crazy. I get beat I, red and everything. I have to take the yeah. shirt off halfway through because it's soaking wet, like drenched. But it oh. feels so good right after because you're, I feel like I'm sweating out all the impurities and just like, mm -hmm. just the stress, you know, everything I'm going through. Just let it out in the morning and the kids are still asleep by the time I get home, take a shower and I feel great, ready for the day. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I actually have felt the difference. And when we went away, I made Dan walk with me two of the four days because I didn't get to walk two of the days. Um, one was because it was raining all morning. And then the second day we left, the, the fourth day we left. So the first day we were morning we were there and the second morning we were there, we walked together and we walked three miles. And then the other two days, the, the hurricane was coming in. So it was raining a lot, so we didn't get to walk the other two days, but I have a glider at home, and um, when I don't get to walk outside, I, I walk, I use the glider. What's that, like one of those? It's like one of those, it's like a thing, like a ski machine. Like oh you yeah, I was saying, you like one of these, like, oh, the <laughs> Yeah, like you go, you hold on to the handle, oh, yeah, yeah. and your feet go the opposite way, the so. Going, yeah. Yeah, so. It's a good physical That's workout cool. because it works out your upper body and your lower body at the same yeah. time. But yeah. I just like being outside and I walk along the canal where I live. So I walk in the soft sand and it's less cars on the road. And, yeah. you know, I see gators and I see turtles and I see fish jumping and it's just very natural. So yeah. if I see a gator in the road, I'll be running, but you know, <laughs> yeah. But they're usually on the canal banks and they go in the water when they see you. So they don't okay, know. okay. That's good you're getting out. Like you just yeah. getting out. I'm I try sure to get out between cool. eight. I try to get up early, uh, you know, for me early is seven o'clock. So I try to get up and get out there before it gets hot, you know. It's 80 degrees at like 8.30. <laughs> I know, it was 85 degrees this oh morning gosh. at 7.30. And it oh, was humid, oh. all get out. Very humid, oh. All right, so what you're going to do okay. next is you can leave that gold in your little container and you're going to take one of your other sponges. I think I gave you a couple. So you're going to need to get some gold on the fat part of your sponge again, like this. And you're just going to do the turtle back, unless you want to put it on the legs. But if you just lightly do it on the shell, it gives it that look of, you know how the turtle has a lot of different colors on it? Yes. So you just lightly dab it on the back of the turtle. I didn't do the legs because I wanted it to be different, but you can if you want. I didn't do the head either. I just did the back of the turtle. But you can do whatever you'd like. It's your art piece. And you don't have to do all of it. You just kind of lightly brush it on. And it's going to pick up on some more than other pieces, but that's okay. And your blue should still shine through some. And if you want, you could take your chip brush and brush some off if you want. If it looks like it's too much. I'm trying to see if this works. It should work. Eh, doesn't really work. You could take your paper towel and dab some back off if you want to get some of the blue up. That should work. That works a little bit. I like gold, so I don't care. I like sparkle, glitter, gold. Yeah, me too. I just like purple. Purple? Purple's a cool color. I'll be using a lot of purple here over the next couple weeks. I yeah. should do my witch painting. Hang on, I'll get it for you. 
I don't have Starla Jade down. She's she's all purple. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that one you just showed me. Oh, the one I showed you today? Yeah. Yeah. Starla Jade. Oh, wait, is this Starla Jade here? Oh, no, this is Margarita. Wait, this witch's picture. It's so cool. She's going to be doing it at Kokomo's, too. Oh. Oh, she wants you to see what she's doing. Okay. I'm bringing them. I just have to walk on the other side. Oh, I love your gold on your turtle. Good job. So here's the witch. Can I do something? Can I do something? Oh, yes, I love that one. Can you see it? Oh, oh yes. That's super dumb. I Look at that. that. That's a painting on a canvas. Oh, so that's a, a canvas. That's a lot of detail. A lot and then of this is the other one we're going to do for Halloween. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I love the purple flower. Oh, yeah. It's purple. Uh, and you can make the flower any color you want, but you see the gold in there and oh, the yeah. glitter? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Probably not the glitter, but you it's got glitter on the moon and it's got glitter. It's got gold on the owl. It's so pretty. Uh, that's so that pretty. Cool? Yeah. It's really cool. And the Hocus Pocus one, that wooden one, they might be interested in. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think I have that on the calendar, though. I thought I saw it right after, um, no, yes, it is. It's like next Oh, Tuesday. yeah, yeah, the, the wooden one. Yeah, it's on September's calendar. Yeah, I'll send it to you. I don't have one of those painted. Not too yeah. much. Yeah. That's class next week. OK. The Hocus Pocus one is class next week. It's on September, on August calendar, but it's September 2nd. That's class. I know calendar. the first, the, one of the kids starts school on, on the 31st, which is Monday. Yeah. So the first is set the um, Tuesday. Yeah. And then that witch painting, I'm doing it virtual on Thursday, and then I'm doing it at Kokomo's on the 15th. Yeah, that would be nice to join that one. That's like right, you know, right around the corner for me. Right. So awesome. That's good. That will probably sell out quick. I haven't even put that online yet, but okay. it probably will sell out quick because it'll be the, they're only going to let me have X amount of people in there. So, okay. I'll send you the calendar as soon as I get it up. So now okay. once you get, get the gold knife. on, you want to grab up a corner of your sticker get the butter knife. Go get the butter knife. or fingernail, butter knife, whatever. Yeah, she and just, you're going to peel this off just like this. Oh. Like a like a sticker. You're gonna peel it off like a band-aid, like a sticker. Oh. And you're gonna just it'll it'll probably rip a little bit, but that's okay. You're not gonna be able to reuse this anyway. Oh. Very slowly. Okay, so you guys are gonna watch. Okay, go. Nice and easy. Just lift it up oh. off your board. Slowly. I got me. Nice and slow. I'm gonna have oh look at my paint wasn't dry. Slowly. So my paint got picked up some. I'll have to fix that up. Of course, it's always where the knot is on your paddle. It must take longer to dry there. Yeah, remember I said there's a little divot there? It wasn't dry all the way. That's all right, I'll fix it. I'm gonna have to come up with a way to give you guys a little poker. Harry, I hope that COVID goes away so we can have normal classes again. <laughs> I know. I don't plan on doing this forever at my home. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get away from your home, right? <laughs> yeah, do you hear Jerry? He says, I want you to get out of here too. <laughs> well, at least I live close by. He knows, I, I just know my motor mouth. So he says oh, I don't dear. stop talking to him. <laughs> So now you're going to just use something to get the little pieces out. Maybe you have a toothpick laying around or a straight pen or something that you can use to get those yeah. pieces of the letters out. Perfect. So you see here where the blue pieces are stuck in the, in the B and the um, H up here, you want to just get something that you can use to stick underneath the blue. Pop it up enough so you can get it off. You can use tweezers. That's you can use your tweezers. 
fingernail. You can use a, um, one of those things on an emery board. Just try not to poke the wood too much. Go in from the side. We're trying to lift it up so I can show you. And if you get a little piece of it up and you just get a hold of that plastic, you can peel it right off. I should have included some toothpicks with you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I just got it. Yeah. But see how my paint wasn't dry right here? Remember when I told you I had like this indention on my board? So the yeah. sticker picked up my paint. So I'll have to go in and fix that somehow. Or I can just sand it and make it look rustic. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, just sand it and make it look rustic. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if you want to put a clear coat on this, you can. Um, it's a spray called the non-yellowing polyurethane, and I can post it in the event. So I'm gonna put pictures of you guys in the event, and I can post the picture of that spray. And you can use that on your board. It's so okay. if you wanna hang it outside, it'll work for outside. Okay. <laughs> Carrie, that's, is that the spray I have already? Yeah, you already have some. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep that for all my projects. <laughs> yeah, just keep it by this time. You've had it. It's been like a year, but I, do, <laughs> I only use it for your projects, just to let you know. <laughs> I wouldn't care. It's the E. It's being stubborn. It's being stubborn? Doesn't want to come up? It's so tiny, right? Yes. You have a toothpick laying around. You have some old chopsticks or a toothpick? Yeah, she's using a little toothpick thing that we have. Oh, cool. Can you give me your time? Use the little tooth things, toothpick things, whatever. Oh, like your dental floss thing? Yeah. <laughs> that works. That's what I should include in the kit is a dental I'm floss thing. You have, uh, that's a good idea. Plastic, it'll stick to it better too. Then we have chapstick. Yeah. Chapstick here. Look, chapstick. Not ch uh, chops. I'm chopstick. sorry. Chopstick. I knew what you meant. Chopstick. <laughs> chopstick. chopstick. Oh yeah. Chopstick. There you go. Use that. Oh, it got the e out. Yeah. That works perfectly. There the you chop, go. The chopstick. Oh yeah. If you it use the tip of it. The tip. Oh, it works. Perfect. Good. That works. Really now, when you come to classes, I have tools that you use, but if oh, okay. obviously if I gave them all out during a, you know, during this kind of a class, I wouldn't have oh, any tools oh, left. Perfect. Oh. 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 You got it. Good. That's such a pretty phone ring. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that you guys knew that. Yeah, that's okay. Sounds so pretty. <laughs> did you need some eggs? Did I what? Some eggs. It's warm. The, the color. I do. Ah, love it. Looks good. Now, the rope that I put in your bag, if you want to use that to wrap it around the handle, you can. Um, let me see if I have an extra one. Oh, can we talk? Tie the string back on the end now? Yep, you can put the string back on the end. If you wanted to use this rope and put it around the handle, you could. Um, that's completely up to you. I'm not going to use mine to put on it. Um, uh -oh. But you could, or you could use it to hang it too. You could use it and put a little um, a, a hook on the top here and a hook on the top here, and you could use the rope to hang it. It's completely your call. It just was part of the kit, so I wanted to give it to you. If you can't get your rope in like me, because you're... Oh, we got it in. Take a piece of um, tape or a piece of that clear stuff from the poly, the sticker on the top, and just yeah, wrap yeah. it around the end of the rope like this, because I don't know what it is about rope. They never want to go back in the hole for me. Oh, that's oh Michael good. did it. She did it. We're good. Good girl. You're hired. Okay. 
Going to take me literally here, huh? Great idea with the tape. I used to do that with the kids' shoelaces. <laughs> yeah, especially if they. I like shoelaces. Wait, we're watching. Yeah, just tie it. Like yeah, that. just tie it in a. Um, yeah, let me push it over. So you're just gonna take this and tie it in a little. Tie it back in a knot up here. Yeah. I cut part of mine off so yeah, it's not definitely. curly. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at my beautiful creation. Good job. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So <laughs> if you if you wanted to use this rope, you could use this rope. I'll just untie it. I'm not gonna glue, put mine down though. But if you have a little wood glue or whatever. What you want to do is you want to take it and you want to start it in the back, like right about here, and you just want to wrap it around the handle. And that's why I gave you such a big piece. You can just wrap it all the way around like this. But you're going to need something to hold it down. So either you're going to wood glue it on the back and tape it to hold it so it'll dry. <laughs> Or you can use super glue, or if you have a hot glue gun, you can use that. Those are all things I don't provide because they're, you know, a personal thing if you want to do it. I do provide the rope. So you can wrap it all the way around the handle like this a few times, and you just keep pushing it down so it bunches together. It's just going to give you the look of it, and then you can... But I've used hot glue, I've used wood glue, I've used um, all different kinds of glue to make it work. But you just start it, start it in the back so that, see this piece right here? You wanna make it so that it's the, the end, the scrap end goes in the back like that. You can tuck it under and glue it like that. You can even just probably tuck it under and it'll stay if you're just gonna put it up for a decoration. And then you can take this and cut it and tuck this under this way. Or you could tie it, whichever way you want. That would probably be the safest way. Because it will stay if you're just doing it as a decoration, but if you're going to hold it, it won't stay. So let me try this. I'm going to cut this. And then I'm going to tuck it under on this side. So you can tuck it under and it should stay like that. And this is on the back, so it's not gonna show. And see, you have it stays in the front. You can super glue it or you can use a glue gun, whatever you have laying around, but you don't need it for the decoration part. And then you can use the extra if you have those little hooks. You can put a little hook here and a little hook here and you can use this extra and you can use it to hang it from. See that? So it would look something like this. It would, if you have those little, those little eyelet hooks, you know which ones I'm talking about? Uh, you, can, uh, yeah, you can screw those in the top. I don't think I have any. I haven't bought any in a while. But you could put the eye, ho the eye hooks in the top and you could put the rope through and knot it like this, say there's a hook here, you could knot this, and then you could hang it on the wall so it hangs more straight, you know, like straight up and down. And then this little end piece is just something that hangs off. What do you think, guys? You like it? I love it. So you I can tuck it under like this, and it doesn't show. And you could cut this off more if you want, but you can also tuck it under and then you can super glue this or you can um, use a hot glue gun. And if you do it, just put a little piece of tape there to hold it down so you don't burn yourself. Don't hold it with your fingers or use, use a, a knife or a screwdriver or something to hold it down. I use a screwdriver a lot to do this when I'm doing hot glue. I have like one certain screwdriver that's just covered in glue. Young, but smaller, but. Why is that so good? Why is that so good? 
Did you guys wrap it around? Good job. So just leave a little extra so you can tuck it under when you get done. I'll turn it over so you can see the back side. This is mine. Thank you, Sasha. She probably smells that rope. It's what's exactly what she wants to smell at. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she smells the rope. She's like, oh, we're going for a walk. <laughs> Yeah. I need to hold that in my mouth. Yeah, we have to spell it, that word out. And I have to go W A L K. Yeah. And they yeah. still knew it. <laughs> Ours, too, we started having to spell them backwards. <laughs> we cannot say that word in that this house. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Now we say the W. <laughs> so we're waiting for <laughs> They've caught on to all of them. Funny. They are, dogs are smart, man. Very <laughs> smart. Very, very smart. When she catches on to that part, you're in trouble. Well, she caught on to, you know, the W spelled out. Then we spelled it backwards. And oh, gosh. Out. Wait, I know what this is. And then she caught on, you know, their goodies, you know. Uh-huh. It starts with the T. Then they learn T-R-E-A-T. <laughs> now I see. Now I then we said cookies. Now they caught on the cookies. <laughs> yeah. I could eat a cookie right now. <laughs> did you see how I did it on the back? I just hot glued it. Oh. Yeah, you can do that. Whatever works for you guys. And then if you have the extra, you can use it to hang it too. You can use hot glue on the back and just glue it on the back too, Dawn. You don't have to, you know, you can put some glue back here and you can put the rope here. And you can glue it on. And then I this will hang. I think I'm going to do the little eye hooks on the top. Okay. I did that. Um, you had me do that on the security picture I did. Mm hmm That Marsha and I did on that one. Mm hmm You got it. Just hook it in there. Good job. Oh, my light's off on you. <laughs> I love that looks it. awesome. You'll have to take a picture and send it to me. So hold them up and I'll take a picture. Perfect. Good job. Let me do a control print screen too. Hold on one second. One more. Got it. Good job, guys. Did you have fun? Yes, this was fun. Oh, now we got to clean up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Love it, Carrie. Thank you so much. You're very Thank welcome. Thank you so much. It You're very so cool. Your mom's going to love it. <laughs> I'm glad yep. I did her name. I'm glad I did her name. It's different. <laughs> yeah, let's get your picture. Hold on. Hold on, my camera's uh, there we go. Ready? Nice. Good job. Awesome. Good job, Don. I know. Good job to you as well. It looks awesome. My coach did a great job. <laughs> you did so good. I love it. It was a nice so piece awesome. of flowers. Thank you. You're and very welcome. welcome.